it's time for another e-bike review live as always i am out in front of the shop nice sunny day out and i have it's charging over here but i'll unplug it in a moment the velo wave uh i gotta double check the name it's the ghost maybe it's the white ghost something along those lines uh, but i thought and the reason i'm a little clear on some of the details is not because i am unprepared <laughs> but because i decided to mix things up with the review so normally what i do is show you guys some of the specs maybe uh, quickly kind of skim through their website check the price the wattage uh those kind of details and kind of give you the information and then i give it a quick test ride around and see does it live up to expectations you know, is the price right? Do the brakes work well? Is the motor as advertised? Uh, and kind of go from there and answer any questions you guys might have about the bike. Today, I've decided it might be more interesting if we mix things up and do exactly the opposite. So because I get so many requests for bike reviews, uh, it's hard to keep them all straight, you know, which bike is which, because also, what you don't see behind the scenes is that often we have many people that reach out and then the review bikes basically never happen. Uh, they run out of stock or uh, who knows, for some reason, the bike just never gets here. Uh, but for those that do send bikes to us, um, often it's a brand like VeloWave that I have never seen in person. So I'm not intimately familiar with the bike yet. So off the top of my head, I don't always know the specs. I got to go look them up and see exactly what we're getting. So I've intentionally not looked up any of the specs of the Velo Wave. I have actually, even though I unboxed it, I made sure not to look at the label on the motor. Uh, I didn't look at the label on the battery. I, I, do, I did see it was a 48 volt, but I don't remember the capacity. So what I'm gonna do is ride the bike first and try and figure out what is the motor rating on the bike. What do I think the bike's price is? And then that way you're getting my honest opinion on what do I think the bike is valued at? Because then when we compare to what it actually is, we'll see, oh, I think this bike is a, you know, 500 watt. And then turns out they're calling it a 750 or maybe they're calling it a 350. Um, but I think that should just be interesting to see what I think without any details or specifications whatsoever. Uh, and you guys can take your best guesses. Uh, we got a guy named Stan on here. Thank you uh, for enjoying the content. Thank you for watching. I wouldn't be here if nobody was watching. Uh, so again, this is from Velo Wave. I don't have any specs on the bike quite yet, other than the obvious. It's got mountain bike, 27 and a half inch tires. I saw those when I unboxed it and pumped them up. Uh, a few first impressions of the bike, things I'll tell you about it from just the unboxing process. Um, it needed some, some tuning and some adjustments. So the, the packaging, however, was, dare I say, excellent. Good enough that I actually took photos so I can send it to some of our suppliers of packaging and be like, hey, you should do things more like Velo wave. So packaging was actually really good. The way they had it was like two pieces of custom cut foam that perfectly cradled the bike that were sandwiched together. Um, it was really nice. So uh, I think Velo wave did, uh, did their homework on packaging, uh, which is great. So I think when they're shipping lots of bikes out, they should arrive safely for the most part. Um, nobody can do anything that prevents everything. Uh, at least cost effectively. <laughs> There's always things that can happen. Um, but I thought their packaging was actually really good. Uh, brakes were really uh, loose, hardly worked at all. So I had to adjust those a little bit. Um, not hard to do. They're mechanical brakes. Um, the shifter actually, I didn't have to adjust at all. That actually uh, was working just fine. Um, but just just some little things like that needs, needed some tune up. Uh, the display was you know, tilted off this way and that way, but, but it had all the tools in the box to do that. It was nothing, nothing major, uh, and nothing that I wouldn't recommend checking, uh, on any new bike anyway. Uh, so charge port is right here. Uh, when I popped the battery in, 
because the battery was not installed on the bike the way it was packaged up it was neatly uh next to it uh at first i didn't like the lock on it i'll be honest because i grabbed the battery i went to pop it in and it wouldn't go in so you actually have to use the key to put the battery in whereas most bikes the key mechanism is uh such that it's spring-loaded and you can pop the battery in without the key you only need the key to take it out however once i use the key and pop the battery in there i realized that the locking mechanism is really really secure it actually feels really nice once it's locked in place feels super firm the battery is not going to fall out of there so uh, even though my first impression was oh that's a bummer you can't pop the battery in without a key uh actually i actually like it so uh no downside to that at all. The frame looks really nice. Um, this this down tube right here uh, is familiar. Uh, you'll see this on other brands of bikes. Basically, this section of the frame and this battery design, which means that it's not proprietary, which I view as a good thing. Um, it's got uh, front suspension fork, which is not an air fork. It's not adjustable in any way. Um, again, these are all just observations I made unboxing the bike. Uh, 180 millimeter rotors. They are mechanical disc brakes. And it has a grip shifter uh, instead of a, a thumb shifter or trigger style shifter. Uh, and I have done a quick little ride on it already. So uh, I kind of have a rough idea of how it rides. Um, but ask away if you guys have any questions. Let me hop on it again. And now I'm going to try and see if I can pin down, uh, and let me know if I'm missing anything, but I'm going to try and pin down wattage. What do I think they're advertising this motor at? Um, I can't do battery unless I went on a long, long ride, which I don't have for, time for. We'll have to look that up. Uh, but it is a 48 volt. Uh, and basically, based on the power uh, and the quality fit finish, how much do I think this bike should cost? And then we'll actually look it up and see what it is. Uh, looks like we do have a few more con comments on here. Uh, yeah, JFS says it would be cool to see the packaging pictures. I'll have to, uh, uh, maybe what I'll do is post those uh, in a little bit uh, after the live review in our Facebook group for Area 13. So if you're not in there, uh, go join the Facebook group. That's where you can ch chat with other members who have e-bikes. Not all of them have uh bolton or area 13 bikes some of them have uh, other bikes that we carry whether it's biconet uh whether it's uh an aventon some of them just have upgrade parts have a, from us and have rad power bikes so a lot of different interaction going on there about different bikes uh, but let's grab the velo wave um which i do think is a pretty good looking bike oops i'm trying to unplug things apparently we're gonna plug that back in because even though I think our computer is going to stay on this whole time, better safe than sorry. I just unplugged it on accident. At least it wasn't the camera or the microphones. All right. Helicopters flying around. That's normal. Uh, so I'm going to turn the bike on. It has a very small compact display uh, on the left side of the handlebars. It is in color. It's real easy to read, even though it's kind of bright out. Uh, it shows miles per hour, pedal assist settings, zero through five, odometer. It shows the battery level with voltage. So even though display is kind of small and compact, uh, I like it. Uh, I think this is actually the same display that we have on our Galaxy trikes now. So I mean, pedal assist, well, let's start in zero. Um, because this bike is more narrow tire bike, a little bit lighter than your average fat bike, should be easy to pedal. And it's not bad. Frame size is kind of a medium, I would say. Feels a little bit small for me at 5'10". Um, the standover is not all that low for my height it just feels kind of short um so i'll call it a medium maybe a medium to large based on standover but the bars aren't up very high um, that's probably what i'm missing is 
most of the bikes uh, have some sort of adjustable stem or riser bars. These bars are fairly flat, so it's a little more aggressive stance, if you will. Um, but not an uncomfortable bike to ride. So turn the pedal assist up to one. Okay, so here's something I got to address here because I noticed this on my test ride. Throttle works perfectly normal. It's a th thumb throttle on the left-hand side. I can push it, cruises around, does just fine. Pedal assist, however, does something kind of odd. And uh, I don't know if there's gonna be any way for you to really see this on camera, other than if I just, what I'm gonna do is take a pedal stroke and then stop and then pedal and stop. And if you see, uh, even if I'm not consistently pedaling, the bike wants to go because there's a delay when you let off of the pedal assist that lasts like, feels like a good half a second or more. So it's a little unnerving if you have it in like the max pedal assist, if you turn it up to like five, uh, and you give it just like one quick pedal stroke, after you've stopped pedaling, the bike will continue accelerating for another half second or so. Uh, if you pull the brakes, it stops immediately. So the cutoffs work like they should. Fireplanes, hopefully just training stuff. Uh, it's that time of year, so they should start doing that. Um, but just know that, or for VeloWave, they should know that should be fixed or looked at. Your pedal assist has a lag when you stop pedaling. The bike keeps going and is really noticeable. I've ridden a couple of other bikes in the past that had that issue. Um, so this isn't the only one I've seen do that, but uh, definitely is, I don't think should be there. Uh, but throttle works correctly. You push the throttle, it goes, you let go, stops immediately. Uh, but the pedal assist just has this lag where it keeps going. So kind of judging based on price, I'm kind of thinking, well, is, did they use a cheaper controller? These are all things that are going on in my head right now. Uh, it is quick release on the front wheel. The motor feels like a 500 watt to me. So if I crank this thing up to five, it takes off pretty quick. But it doesn't feel, doesn't feel to me anyway, it doesn't feel 750 watts quick, unless this is a 500 watt nominal 750 watt peak kind of bike. Uh, I can believe that. Um, but it feels more like a good, powerful 500 watt bike, not a 750 watt nominal bike. And now, since I said that, we might as well look at the motor and see what do we got. Uh, 500 watts. Okay, so good. We were right on the money there. Um, so for a 500 watt bike, feels great. I think the narrow tires, the lighter weight, that's all going to help with that. Um, I don't know what the bike weighs exactly. I'm just going to guess and say it's probably around 60 pounds. It could be in the in the 50s, um, but uh, I don't think it's low 50s. Definitely not in the 40s. It's uh, it's at the upper end of the weight range. So that makes me think the battery's probably a little bigger too, I hope, at least a 14 amp hour. Uh, the fork, not very adjustable. It's got a lockout and a preload. It's not air adjustable or anything. This is a relatively inexpensive fork. Uh, the brakes, do they even have, yeah, they've got a brand name on it, but it's not, it's not one that's like known. So kind of inexpensive brakes. It's it is a decent looking bike. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a guess and say I think a fair price on this would be around like twelve thirteen hundred dollars. The way things are going right now, prices are kind of going up. A year ago, you might have been able to pick up something like this for a thousand, but I think that's too cheap. I think they're gonna be more in the Twelve hundred to fifteen hundred dollar range. Um, fifteen hundred dollars. 
I think would be a fair price, but not a great price. If they're like 12, 1300 bucks, I think that'd be good market price, assuming the battery's a good size. Uh, if this thing is under a thousand, I will be pleasantly surprised. Uh, with a couple of nicer features, I could see this being a, you know, 1700 to $2,000 bike. If they, uh, you know, upgraded to hydraulic brakes and battery really was a good size, uh, you know, I could see this having some upgrades and costing 2000, but it's not there the way it is. Um, so let's, let's see what we got. If you guys already know, feel free to post it in the chat because what I'm going to do is look up their website and bring it up. I've got my trusty laptop right here and, uh, we're going to look up the Velo Wave electric bike and see what we get. And it's a little bright out here, unfortunately, but hopefully I can see my screen well enough. I know you can see it, or at least I hope you can. Uh, okay. Velo Wave. Of course, the first thing that popped up is different model we don't want the ranger that's a fat tire bike which their fat tire bike is 16.99 if it's basically this bike with fat tires i could uh i could see that let's see and you know what what i should do is share my screen with you guys oh jsf videos is looking it up 13.99 minus coupon 12 12.99 so there we go um that is right right where i thought it would be but i'm getting their website up here for you guys there we go all right so the ranger is looks like basically the same bike but fat tire and then here we go the Velo Wave Ghost MTB3, thirteen ninety nine, uh, and there it is, right there, hundred dollar coupon. So yes, yeah, so you can get it for thirteen hundred bucks, um, which is I think right on the money where I was thinking it would be. Um, Twelve thirteen hundred is I think a very fair price. Uh, was packaged well, like I said, uh, very good job that they did on that. The only complaint i have about it i see the battery is a it's not the battery uh the battery is a 48 volt 13 amp hour uh i think that's good i think that would be perfectly fine for this price range um you know like i said it could be a two thousand dollar bike if they put a bigger battery uh hydraulic brakes just upgrade it a little bit um but at 12.99 13.99 um that's that's actually a good price i'm i'm happy with that um what I was uh, going to say that the only disappointment I've got with it is the lag in the pedal assist. Uh, it could be like a firmware uh, upgrade or firmware change or controller programming change they could make to fix that. <coughs> Excuse me, probably something they'll have to do at the factory, I assume. Um, but it's a, it's a nice, like, shiny, silvery, powdery, gray color. The paint job looks good. The frame looks good. Uh, it kind of reminds me, I hope you guys take this in a positive way, kind of reminds me of some of the earlier Saunders bikes where it's a good frame, it's a good wheel set, uh, it's got decent power for the price. It seems like a great bike that you could buy with room to upgrade it. Like you could put nicer brakes on this if you wanted to. Um, you know, maybe you could get a bigger battery one day or carry a spare if you wanted to. It's got room in the triangle. You can actually put a water bottle on here. Uh, you could put more comfortable bars on it or an adjustable stem if you wanted to. Uh, but it seems like it's priced right. This would be a good base bike to start with if you're just looking to kind of get your feet wet, so to speak. Uh, or if you watched the last video I released yesterday about commuting to work, if you're like, hey, I don't want to spend as much money on gas as I am right now. And I want to commute, uh, you know, 10 miles each way to work, live in a fairly flat area, some mild hills. This would get the job done uh, perfectly well. 
Uh, and being a full-sized bike, it would be comfortable doing it. Uh, and at that price range, it would pay for itself very, very quickly. Uh, if you don't believe me, go check out that video where I share some, some actual numbers of what it actually costs to own a vehicle compared to a bike. I mean, the, the difference is crazy. Um, it's just, it's just insane. No gas, no insurance, no registration. The vehicle costs itself. Uh, bicycles are just so much cheaper to ride. Uh, something like this would pay for itself in no time. Uh, let me see if you guys got any other questions here. Let's uh, double check specs on this. So yeah, Shimano seven speed, um, it's a grip shifter, like I pointed out, all of that works just fine. Uh, they're kind of your typical, um, you know, I'll say budget components, but there's nothing wrong with them. Uh, it looks like they have a road bike for $8.99. Uh, they've got a low step through bike for $16.99. And then, of course, that mountain bike I saw, for the Ranger for sixteen ninety nine. dollars um, These are all decent-looking bikes. I think uh, they'll probably do reasonably well with these. Uh, just do me a favor, Vela Wave, see if you can fix that little pedal assist delay. Um, that, would, that would make this, um, I'm not going to say perfect bike, but it'd make it a more or less perfect bike for the price that it is. Um, because that's, that's my only, only issue or complaint that I had with it. Uh, as long as you don't mind doing a few little adjustments when you get the bike, because like I said, their brakes and things are a little mushy, um, you know, but nothing that can't be easily, easily tuned up. If you don't know how to do it, there's lots of YouTube videos. I know a guy that makes those, uh, <laughs> how to adjust things like that. All right. I'm going to jump back, see what other comments or, or questions do we have? on the Velo wave here. Uh, JSF, you were dead on. Thank you, I appreciate that. And yeah, that must be Jessica in the background saying e-bikes are the way to go. Uh, it's true. So uh, thank you guys for joining. Thanks for watching. Um, we'll make sure to have a link in the description or something for their website. So you can go check them out. Thanks to Velo wave for sending the bike out. Um, I like it. So uh, just that little pedal assist thing would, would bug me, um, would be a reason that I probably wouldn't sell it in my store, uh, until that was fixed. Uh, if it wasn't for that and I was looking for a budget bike, this seems like it would be, uh, it would likely be a, a decent, reliable bike. And like I said, lots of room for upgrades, I think. Uh, so thanks again for watching another video. If you're looking for a bike that's affordable, check out VeloWave. Uh, if you want to spend a little bit more, of course, you know where we're at, Area 13. Uh, we have bikes that range anywhere from, you know, $1,600 range up to well over $7,000. just depends on how fast you want to go, how far do you want to go, and how crazy are you uh, on the trails. <laughs> but I think we have pretty much something for everybody. Uh, thanks again, everybody. I will see you on probably another live video soon. Uh, I don't have any other review bikes here yet, but I know that there are multiple other review bikes on the way, not to mention some new things that we're working on that I definitely am going to want to review live as well. So I will uh, see you guys on the next one. And...